Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my video. So let me just make a disclaimer real quick. Uh, this is for a water tank chlorine dispenser or you could use it for the pool. Um, you wanna start by cutting as few holes as possible so that you can experiment. Uh, try this out slowly until you find the ideal amount of chlorine you wanna release into the water. And it's better to do it slowly as to make sure you don't put too much. So you definitely want to keep an eye on your water tank level if you're using this in a water tank. In a pool, it really don't matter because it's always full. But if you have a water tank and the water level decreases, you want to make sure you're not getting too much chlorine in there. Um, so I have a few water tanks in sequence. I'll probably put this at the last tank, which is always full, uh, as opposed to the tank that's somewhat sometimes empty. This way I don't get too much chlorine in the water, be a little more stable. All right, so it's nighttime, but I wanted to make this video real quick because I see a whole bunch of online how people are making these DIY pool floating chlorine dispensers uh, for either the pool or for the water tank. Um, I'm making one for a rainwater tank, so it doesn't have to be as pretty as the pool. Um, I might have bought it if it was for a pool, cause you gotta look at it, but this is going inside of a water tank that I don't gotta look at. And I didn't wanna buy one because I keep reading online that they keep breaking and failing and the chlorine rots away part of it, the top, this and that. And I seen, it's not, you know, I seen not too many videos as I would like to have seen about this. So I decided to make this video just to kinda help people out a little bit. Um, so I'll show you what I did. Basically, this is just a, like a one liter. You can get any size, I guess. This is about a one liter uh, Coca-Cola bottle. I used a knife to scrape off the, uh, the, the label because that will corrode with the chlorine. You don't want that. Um, I cut out there on the bottom. I cut out three holes. Some people do five. Some people do two. Some people do one. From what I heard from a few videos, it really didn't make a big difference because the chlorine dissolution rate is already set. It's already set. Um, basically, that tab is going to dissolve at a certain rate. It's true, more water probably will dissolve it a little more faster or something, more movement, but it's not like radically different. So anyway, you put as many holes there on the bottom as you like. You can experiment. Like I said, I put three. So I put a rock in there, a piece of gravel, actually a big piece of gravel, because when you put it in the water, you want it to, you know, sit with that end down, right? So I put that in there and then I put a smaller bottle without a label, completely sealed, just so that I could get air in there because you want this to sit up. And so I, you close the top, of course, you got a cut, you got a cut here halfway open. So you could squeeze that tablet down in there. That's the three inch tablet. So you can get that guy down in there. Um, and then I get like, you can get like a smaller vitamin bottle or what, whatever it is. Something again, without the label, cause it will deteriorate and you don't want to get that in your pool or your water tank. Um, so some other videos weren't clear. Th this don't have to be closed at all. You want this open. This whole thing is going to fill with water. And then that, the the vitamin thing is gonna, the, the little jar inside is gonna rise to the top, the rock's gonna stay on the bottom, and that's gonna keep it upright. It's gonna keep it upright. Um, and then of course you can put as many tabs in there. If you want more chlorine, instead of cutting more holes, you probably wanna put more tabs because they release at a certain rate. So more chlorine tabs, more of the rate of chlorine that you're gonna get in there. I'm just experimenting with one and then I can work my way from there and see what I want to do so I put this little uh, zip tie around the top here two zip ties just because uh, I'm gonna put this inside a rainwater tank like I said and I might have to fish that I might have to fish that guy out I might have to fish it out with a pole because it's a pretty deep tank so I just put that in there ahead of time so I'm just kind of testing it out in a bucket over here just so you guys can see I have made another one um, so you just stick that guy in there, I'll fill it up with water so you can see, 
So that's filled up with water. And as you can see, they're both floating and the top is up and the bottom is down. And if it gets disturbed, it's still going to remain in that top up, bottom down position. So uh, anyway, I hope that helps you guys out there who want to make one. I saw someone where the guy was using two of these bottles, like he cut one and then jammed another one in it, two Coke bottles. It was really long, like this much longer. So I don't think that's necessary. I, I didn't like that idea. I like this idea. I kind of made this up myself with the little bottles inside for the air. Anyway, so I hope this was helpful for you guys and uh, see you in the next one.